Now, your two works for you first forecast, sponsored by Executive Homes. And good morning to you. This is meteorologist Clint Boone. Yeah, you're not seeing me in the studio practicing a social distancing this morning. Yeah, kind of different not being in the studio with Corey this morning. Weather this morning, man, if you've already stepped outside, I know it's early, but it is quite balmy this morning. And the big story for us today will be the record heat. So let's go ahead and show you our uh, forecast high for today. 91 degrees. It's been since last October since we've had temperatures in the 90s. The record that we're going to be breaking is from uh, 1918 of 87. Typically this time of year, our average high is 66. We're already above that this morning as the current temperature is 67. Southeast winds around 11 right now as we uh, look at some other temperatures towards Bartlesville. Low 60s, low 70s this morning in McAllister. A few clouds out to this morning, but generally a mostly sunny sky this afternoon. Winds are going to be out of the southwest for us as our, again, temperatures well above normal. 93 maybe in Old Mulgee, 90 today in McAllister. Heading into the evening hours, sky will be mostly clear for us. Still upper 80s at 7, upper 70s by 10 o'clock tonight. And then future track overnight could be a few showers and storms across portions of southeast Kansas. Most of those are going to stay out of our area Heading into our Friday, there will be the opportunity for some isolated storms in the afternoon, but probably better chances for a few storms tomorrow night. Remaining unseasonably warm for us for our Friday. High temperatures are going to be back into the 80s. But again, we'll be paying a close attention to tomorrow evening as we are under the risk for a few severe storms. This is not going to be widespread, but those storms that do develop tomorrow night, wind, hail, and even an isolated tornado right along the Kansas-Oklahoma line will be possible. So make sure you've downloaded our Two Works For You weather app. So let's go ahead and show you the uh, future track for tomorrow evening beginning at 7 o'clock. Again, nothing too widespread, but again, those individual cells that develop could contain, again, hail, wind, and an isolated tornado. Better chances appear to be north of I-44. And then by Saturday morning, could be a lingering shower early Saturday morning, but the majority of the upcoming weekend still looking good. So your weekend forecast shows temperatures in the 70s. Gets a little bit cooler by Sunday morning in the 40s and then heading into next week. Another opportunity for some rain and maybe an isolated thunderstorm for Monday. Right now, not looking at anything severe. And temperatures will be closer to normal for us as we head towards next Tuesday and Wednesday with our temperatures into the 60s, but yet another day, Corey, to uh, head outdoors. I know I saw some pictures on Facebook of you and Piper enjoying the weather yesterday, but you're going to need to be careful. Stay hydrated today. It's been a while since we've talked about people staying hydrated, but 90s for this Thursday.